If you've just purchased a planner or a digital notebook from my shop on Etsy, I'd like to take a minute just to walk you through the steps of downloading it and importing it to an app like GoodNotes or Notability. The process is actually really easy and I find it's easiest just to do this straight from your iPad. Um, although you can download the file from, say, a computer, your laptop, and also import it into GoodNotes, I'll call that out a little later in this video. Um, but for this video, I'm going to show you how to actually do it straight from your iPad. So you have the Etsy.com app loaded. You may have used that to browse and purchase, but to download the files, you actually want to open your Safari app on your iPad. So in Safari, the internet browser, I'm just going to type in Etsy.com. I'm going to log in as myself. If I click on you in the upper right corner and purchases and reviews, this is where I can see any files I've purchased are going to be shown. As long as you purchased, you know, several minutes ago and your payment has cleared, you'll see download files available here for you. Click download files and this is where you'll see the files available that came with the purchase. Now, to understand what files you're looking for and which files you're going to want to use, take a look at the description of the item you bought. I'll always clearly spell it out there. So for my planner, for example, you have two different PDF options. This is the planner itself. You can either choose the Monday Start PDF or the Sunday Start PDF. In this case, I'm going to choose to download the Monday Start. I click here for download. And you can see that it opens in a new window, just as the PDF. What I actually want to do, again from Safari, is click the square with the arrow up. And this brings up different actions I can take. And you can see in here I have the ability to copy it to GoodNotes. If you aren't seeing that, or you aren't seeing it for the app that you want to use um, it in, click More and see if it's available here for you to toggle on. So I can see I have the option I need here. If you're using GoodNotes 5, you see the lines and the squiggly lines. That's how you know you're importing it to GoodNotes 5. Click that. And then it actually opens it directly within GoodNotes. You just click Import. And it's going to show up right there on your home screen. And you could organize it into folders as you need to. Let me go back here to Safari. And I'm going to show you what's a little bit different about um, the sticker book. So again, this is GoodNotes specific. For GoodNotes, you have a sticker book. And what I've done there is basically I have placed all of the individual PNG file stickers into that sticker book. So it's really quick and easy for you to grab them and use them in your planner. Again, that sticker book only functions in GoodNotes. You can see that it's a .goodnotes.zip file. Any .goodnotes.zip file, all you have to do is download it and import it directly into GoodNotes. You never unzip those files. So I click download here. And you can see it kind of gives me this, this zip screen and it gives me the ability to open it um, in any app I choose. So in this case, you know, I don't have to open it in iZip. That's like a um, unzipping app. All I do is click more here and I follow that same process I did with the PDF and click copy to GoodNotes. And it's the same screen again, I import it and it shows up right here for me um, to use. So let's go back and let's first say now that I am downloading this to use, um, but I'm not using it in GoodNotes. In that case, um, I'm just gonna follow those same steps I showed you for the planner PDF. Choose the Monday start or Sunday start. I'm gonna hit download here. I'm going to hit the action button and here I can choose um, whatever app I want to use it in. So note shelf, notability, most of the major PDF annotation apps I find do have this integration for the quick action. So you just choose that. Let's copy to notability just to show you what that looks like. It opens up. I'm going to create a new note. It's going to give me all those pages already selected and I'm going to click import. 
So it's that easy. Very similar to the process of GoodNotes. Now the main difference here, I mentioned that that GoodNotes sticker book only functions in GoodNotes. So if I'm using it in Notability, I have to actually download the sticker PNG files. And so we hit download again, but in this case, it's a zip file. So I do often recommend, look, if you're taking this route, you might just want to do this on a laptop or a computer. You'd have to bring this file in, download it, unzip it, and then save it somewhere that's really easy for you to access uh, on your iPad. But you can do it straight from your iPad, and here's what you would do. Again, you have that zip file show up here, but in this case, since it's just a, a dot .zip file, it's not a good notes file, I have to actually unzip this to be able to use it. So I go to more. I personally use iZip, but there are a lot of different um, unzipping apps you could use on your iPad. Copy to iZip. I'm not gonna walk you through this full process here. Um, you certainly look at iZip's resources if this is something you're using, um, but just to show you, you know, you would say, yes, I wanna extract all files. And what I've done with these stickers is I've organized them really nicely for you. And so what you'd basically do is just save these um, to your files um, or to your camera roll on your iPad, and then you could insert them as individual images into Notability. Again, this whole iZip process with the files is not something that you have to use if you're a GoodNotes user, only if you're using it in Notability or NoteShelf or something like that. If you're a GoodNotes user, you have this sticker book and this sticker book has all of the individual images here that you can grab and drag and drop into your planner. I have a separate video that's all about getting started in GoodNotes, so if you're new, definitely take a look at that video to learn how to use the sticker book with the planner. One final note here, um, before we close this up, I, I wanna show you what you would do if you didn't follow that process I showed of uh, downloading it and the quick action from the browser. Um, for GoodNotes specifically, what you would do is you would just come into your home screen here and you'd click New. And this is assuming that I have the file, I've downloaded it on another device and I've saved it to some sort of file sharing solution. So what I do here is I would just import it and I would click on the, the drive that I have it saved in. In this case, I'm just on my iCloud drive. I would click on that final file and it would import it for me. So very similar, very quick and easy. Again, it just require a couple extra steps of you saving it to a, a cloud file sharing uh, system, but you can absolutely do it that way as well. And then from Notability, it's also a, a very similar process of here's your import button. You choose the, the uh, sharing system that you're using. See, I'm using Google Drive. And I just click on the PDF. And then create a new note, import. And it's there so you can see you can do it anyway but like I mentioned you know doing it straight from your iPad is really quick and streamlined um, so if you're able to do that I definitely recommend it um, just doing it from your iPad if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a note I'm always happy to help you um, with the import and download process especially if if you're new to digital planning